Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name's Ava and I'm a mortgage power planner. As a mortgage power planner, I actually work alongside an independent mortgage advisor. Oi, get down, down. Get a cat, they say. It'll be fun, they say. Oi, say hello to peoples of YouTube. Hello, peoples of YouTube. I am a very, very naughty girl. I am the devil cat. Look at me. Look at me, I am the devil cat. Hello, hello, peoples of YouTube. Ten seconds later. Right, where was I? As a mortgage power planner, I work alongside an independent mortgage advisor, and together we find people the best mortgage deals out there. Now, a lot of people don't actually understand the need for an independent mortgage advisor. People actually think that they're better off going directly to the bank because they think they're going to get like a preferential rate, which isn't true. And I'm here to give you my five reasons as to why you should consider using an independent mortgage advisor and don't get me wrong by all means if you want to initially go to your existing bank do it have a look at the deal that they're providing you with and then take that to the independent mortgage advisor as they'll be able to tell you whether that is the best deal out there or whether they can get you a better one so without further ado let's jump right into the video So my reason number one is in the title really, and it's the fact that they're independent. Now, what does that actually mean? Now, independent mortgage advisors are not tied to any particular bank. So that in itself gives you peace of mind that they are gonna have a look at the whole market for you. And with that comes the fact that they've got access to a range of not only different lenders, but also various deals. As what you'll find is that every single bank, every single lender has got multiple deals to choose from and it's often a minefield actually knowing what is best for you so an independent mortgage advisor can simplify all that for you and actually tell you and advise you what the best solution for you is so reason number two is what I've touched upon briefly before and it's the fact that they can find you the best deal out there for you now it's no longer about the lowest interest rate there are so many other factors that determine how much that mortgage is going to cost you over the term of the deal so if we take a fixed rate mortgage for example if you're fixed for let's say two years your mortgage advisor will be able to tell you which two-year deal actually works out the cheapest over the two-year period and trust me I've seen it loads it's not always the lowest rate as sometimes what you'll find is the lower interest rate products actually carry very very high arrangement fees and we're talking like a grand on a lot of them so sometimes it is actually best to go for a slightly higher rate where you get more incentives so the likes of your free valuations the likes of your cash back the likes of your free arrangement fees there's so many things that lenders are now offering to kind of entice you to go with them over somebody else but also to make the deals cheaper overall as independent mortgage advisors have to go with the cheapest deal unless they can justify not doing so. And what I mean by that is the fact that certain lenders may come out top as the cheapest, but when it actually comes down to it, either the customer service is shocking, the turnaround times are very, very long, so they take everything into account. Or that lender may not actually be willing to give you that money, so they have to do further research to identify the most suitable one for you. And you may argue that you can find all this information on comparison sites, but you're wrong. You're not actually able to see, number one, which lender actually works out the cheapest overall, and also which lender will actually provide you with what you need. Now, number three is market knowledge. Independent mortgage advisors have to stay up to date with what's going on in the mortgage market, and that includes speaking directly with lenders to see what products they've got coming out or how they're improving on the service, as well as which lenders are actually best overall and what their individual lending criteria actually is and I guess the vital part here is the lending criteria because you'd be surprised as to how different it is from lender to lender so you may go on a comparison site and actually see Halifax for example offering a really good rate and you think right okay I'll go with them but when it actually comes down to it they may not be willing to give you the amount that you need or they might just say no altogether for a variety of different reasons whereas a mortgage 
advisor already knows what the lending criteria is and they can check all of that out before telling you what their recommendation is, which lender they're recommending for you. As well as that, what you'll find is that lenders vary in how they calculate how much they're willing to lend you. And I've had instances where the difference between various lenders was in the tens of thousands of pounds. And I mean, that makes a huge, huge difference. So that's why going with an independent mortgage advisor, they'll be able to sift all that out for you and just bring you the best deal to the table for you to consider. Now, reason number four is the fact that their research systems are not only professional in that they link up with the lenders directly, but they're also updated several times a day to ensure that it picks up all of the new deals that have entered the market and also takes out the ones that have expired. Because what you'll find is that interest rates on mortgages and the different deals available honestly change on a daily basis. So once again, the Lexi comparison sites, they don't have this ability. So a lot of the times what you'll find is the data that they're presenting to you could actually be out of date. Those products may not actually be available. So you're not actually getting the best deal. And the last reason I want to mention is the fact that a mortgage advisor doesn't just deal with the mortgage. They are there to be a sounding board and talk you through the whole house buying process. They are there if you've got any questions about the whole process. They are there to speak to solicitors, to speak to the lender, to make sure it all ties in together and to ensure a speedy completion for you to help make the process a lot smoother. So that is it guys. Those are my reasons for using an independent mortgage advisor. However, these are only a few of the reasons that I wanted to share with you. There are plenty more and if you're unsure, just speak to one. Now, as with anything in life, you should definitely research the advisor you want to go with and ultimately choose someone that you can trust. And the best way to find a reliable mortgage advisor is to go off referrals, ask your friends, ask your family, see if anyone that you know has used one and what their experience was. Or alternatively, feel free to contact me via email and I'll be more than happy to not only help you with the mortgage process, but also put you in touch with a reliable mortgage advisor. And we do deal with mortgages all over the UK. So with that being said, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe Subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys back on Friday with a brand new video. Bye guys.